which one of these graphs best represents the system of inequalities okay which best represents the graph of this of this system here we have two inequalities put together as a system okay let's look at our system and specifically let's look at our first inequality notice in this inequality we have a minus y I don't want to have a minus y I want it to be a plus y space it out a little bit we're gonna add y to both sides to this side and to this side okay so y is gonna be right here and then since we want to get y all by itself of course these cancel over here so we, since we want to get y all by itself I want to get rid of the 3x that's why I'm subtracting 3x here and here so now you bring that down bring down the plus 1 and this doesn't change in this case okay so it looks like this now alright and the slope intercept form is mx plus b where m is a minus 3 and if you put 0 in for the x going to find the, the y intercept by plugging in 0 in for this x negative 3 times 0 is 0 so this all goes away when x is 0 y then will be greater than or equal to 0 plus 1 y equals 1 so it goes to the point 0 1 plugging in 0 here this goes away leaving you what this number right here so when x is 0 y is 1 okay if we want to graph that go through go through the point 0 1 and then go up 3 go up 3 and go over 1 okay this is a negative slope negative slopes point upward to the left if it had been a plus 3 I'd go upward to the right and I'd be going this way but go up 3 from here and go over 1 because this is 3 over 1 isn't it negative 3 over 1 so then go down 3 and over 1 down 3 and over 1 down 3 and over 1 put a point right there and then draw the line okay now my inequality um, is y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 1 since it has an equal to sign we fill in the line and then we pick any point on this side of the line a real a nice easy point would be 2 to the right and 2 up that's the point 2 2 so if I can uh, fill in the 2 here and a 2 here and get a true statement then I'll fill in this side of the line okay if not I'll fill in the other side of the line so if uh, that blue point works we're gonna fill in the side of the line so let's go ahead and we're gonna say the point when y is 2 we fill in a 2 for this number right here 2 is greater than or equal to negative 3 times and I let x also be 2 I let x also be 2 so here's x okay negative 3 times 2 plus 1 so bring this number down and then this negative 3 times 2 is and plus 1 and negative 6 plus 1 is a minus 5 this is a true statement isn't it 2 is larger than or equal to negative 5 so since this point works we fill in this side of the line okay so now try to remember this side of the line is filled in for this inequality all right because we're going to go back and work on the second inequality but this inequality the graph of this inequality is right here okay now let's work on a second inequality okay draw a line and I want to get a plus 4y I don't want to have a negative 4y I want the coefficient of y to be plus so we're going to add 4y to both sides okay and then I'm going to subtract 12 okay why because I want to get y all by itself over here you have a plus 4y you still have the 12 though so let's get rid of the 12 put a negative 12 here okay so uh, bring down the 3x okay these cancel so I can fill in this negative 12 over here keep this the same way don't change this at all bring down the 4y do not change this 
Now, to say that this is less than this means that this is bigger than this. If 3x minus 12 is less than 4y, then 4y must be bigger than 3x minus 12. Okay? You see how this turns over? Okay? Now, uh, I like to think of it this way. The point of the arrow is pointing at the what? The 3x or the 12, isn't it? So we can write the 4y first, and then we can put this over here. As long as the point of the arrow is pointing at the same way, it's pointing at the same numbers it was pointing at before. See, this is like an arrowhead pointing at the 3x. So my arrowhead must point at the 3x. Okay? And then I'm going to divide everything through by 4. All three of those by 4. So you end up with y here, and you'll have negative 3 fourths x, and this will give you negative 3. All right? So if I want to graph that, my slope's going to be negative 3 fourths, and when x is 0 on this one, y is going to be this number over here. What's 3 fourths of 0? It's 0, isn't it? So this zeroes out, leaving y equals to negative 3. So you have 0 for x, negative 3 for y. To graph that, I go through the point 0 minus 3 down here. Now my slope is positive, so I'm going to go upward to the right that this time. Last time I was going upward to the left with a slope of minus 3. This time I'm going upward to the right, so I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and go over what? I go up 3 and over what? So here we are, 1, 2, 3, and over 1, 2, 3, 4. Do the same thing again. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. We go down 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and we can draw a line. All right. Now I've got to have my famous test point, which I always like to use. Uh, this is the line for this, but I'm going to use my test point 2, 2. Okay, I used the same thing last time. Let's see if we put a 2 here and a 2 here, if this turns into a true statement or not. All right? Use 2, 2. In place of x, you put in a 2 right here. Okay? In place of y, you're going to plug in a 2. So you're going to have negative 4 times y or 4 times 2. So I'm going to get a 6 right here. This is minus 8. Okay? And this is negative 2. And it is true that negative 2 is less than 12. So we fill in this side of the line because the point 2, 2 worked. Remember I told you before to remember what we had up there before? It was this, wasn't it? Okay. So this part's blue, this part's yellow. Okay. The system says that both things must be true. So it's only true in both things in this part up here. This part up here is to the right of this red line, okay, and this up here is above this other line, okay. So we're going to pick answer C.